All right, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to show off a couple new features at Santiment that you may be very interested in checking out yourself. The first one here is on our Crypto Narratives tab here on Social Trends. Just head to the Social Trends dashboard right here at the top of the header and you will see this Crypto Narratives chart right here which shows several different popular subjects that uh, fluctuate over time in their overall narrative frequency, over, overall basically their uh, level of discourse across X, Telegram, uh, Reddit, 4chan, and even Bitcoin talk. So we combine all of the discussions on those five platforms and you can see this as the product. You can see airdrops over time, bear market, NFT, all of these different topics. You can see here in NFT, for example, several different popular NFT keywords associated with NFTs all combined together to make up the NFT narrative. So it's really cool how we do this with all these different popular subjects all gathered together because you don't want to just look up NFT by yourself or Ethereum by yourself. You want to see how often is Vitalik Buterin mentioned um, and various things like that. So you'll notice that over time, especially since the beginning of the year, this is on a six month uh, time frame, almost everything has gone down over time. There are less people talking about crypto compared to the beginning of the year, even though we're still up uh, in market caps across the board significantly since January. Uh, there's just been such a big drop off since March in particular that it's caused a lot of um, people to be less and less interested over time. So very interesting to see how this trend has developed. You can also go down. Um, remember, this is an older feature, but still relatively new. You can click on explore the narratives and you can also see uh, AI generated explanations as to why many trend, trends are fluctuating with the way they are. You can see GameFi, for example, starting to get a little more traction right now and it'll talk about um, in the top left of the screen why uh, you know web3 gaming is talked about and the potential behind it nft projects and games uh, epic game store um, uh, new games that were launched all sorts of things like that so lots you can check out here on the crypto narratives tab i can even here on the crypto narratives chart right here remove um, pretty much all of them and I can make my own. Let's say I want to leave just meme coins here and I want to add, let's say, Dogecoin where I'll say Doge, anything related to Dogecoin or um, just Doge or how about the combination of Doge and coin in case people separate the two words. I'll click show on narratives, save Give it a couple seconds and there is Dogecoin now being shown on the same axis as meme coins in general. So Dogecoin, as you'd expect, makes up a pretty significant portion just on its own when you can see that the meme coins one has tons and tons of different uh, mentions altogether. All right, the other topic I wanted to show is our new ecosystem development activity dashboard. And here you can see all of the different ecosystem development activity events compared to one another over time. Right now we're looking at the past one year. We've got about 10 different ecosystems selected. Let's say I wanna make it uh, all time, go way back in time. And you can see how Ethereum kind of got a head start here because a lot of these other ecosystems didn't really exist. And it really just exponentially increased over time to get to where it is well above everything else. Now I can also, let's say, um, I want to take off, let's just take off everything except for um, Avalanche versus Polkadot, right? And you can see that over time they've gotten pretty neck and neck. Uh, we can zoom into just the past month zoom into just the past seven days, so on and so forth. Um, you can also take them off of shared axis, which is cool. So they'll actually be on their own axis. You, so you can see their individual lows 
versus their highs over time. And then if I scroll down, you can actually see the percentage changes that they're seeing over time and the overall development activity events. Um, they're changed by percentage and the overall amount of contributors here. Going down further, you can see the uh, actual amount of uh, GitHub events, I should say, by ecosystem and GitHub contributors. Uh, there's just so much you can, you can really do on this. And you can, of course, sort by time interval. If you want to go super granular, just look at the past seven days where it looks like most are down for whatever reason, Hedera being the exception. So that could be useful information. Really, all of this dashboard can be used for actual portfolio decisions. Let's say you want to make up your portfolio based on the only the ecosystems that are seeing rising amounts of development, which there is a correlation to price, mostly in the long term. Uh, that could be something very useful to you if you want to eliminate any coins that are in an ecosystem that is declining in overall uh, contributors count. That's, that's something that could be very useful. So, um, of course, we did also release at the beginning of this month a great four-minute read about the ecosystem development activity dashboard and just our overall uh, tracking of development activity and our methodology behind it, why it's important. Um, I'll give you the quick TLDR and just narrate it for you. It says, the Sandman.net team has launched an ecosystem dev activity dashboard that shows how many software development events are created on various blockchains and their associated dApps. These events are carefully filtered and predefined to be representative of real programming progress, meaning no low value actions are taken into consideration. This way, any crypto curious person can easily see which are the most active crypto ecosystems out there. And I have this link for you guys in the bio of this video. Make sure to check it out. Uh, shout out to Evgeny for the great write up here and to the amazing Santiment team for putting these great new tools together. We'll have more updates soon. Take care and be safe.